So what are my current luxury favorites? From at-home spa, hair care, to leggings? Today I'm gonna to be sharing with you all what are my current favorites for the month of May. Hey friends, my name is Heather and I am a fashion and lifestyle content creator. I have a focus on sharing with you all what I truly believe is worth the investment as well as how to live an elevated lifestyle that's all one's own. If you are new here, welcome and please consider subscribing. And so the first product I'm going to share with you all is a product that I've used for well over 10 years and it's the Laura Mercier Bath Collection. The Souffle actually was my first love because it was so moisturizing, it didn't leave a greasy residue after I used it and it smells absolutely amazing. The first scent that I gravitated towards was the Almond Coconut. I've gone through countless jars, I honestly have lost track. Um, and after I became such a fan of the souffle, I started using the honey bath. This really gives a very spa-like feel, gives a lot of bubbles, and honestly, it truly makes your skin feel quite luxurious, very supple and soft after using it. After I became such a fan of the almond coconut, I kind of ventured into other scents within that line. And something that I recommend is really trying to take advantage of their gift sets that come out during the holidays. Now this particular gift set here, I haven't used yet because I haven't needed to. I have other products that I'm still finishing like those that I just shared, but I wanted to give you guys a quick overview of what is in the gift set. Um, you can see here that the honey bath, the souffle, as well as the perfume and the hand uh, and body cream is included in the gift set. So I do highly recommend taking advantage of these when you see them through the holidays. I'm going to take a look and see if I can find any of these and if they are out and about I will share them in the links below. So in keeping along the lines of at home spa, I wanted to share with you all this robe that I've had since December. This was another Christmas gift that I received and it was one that I had that I had honestly had my eye on for quite some time. I love the fact that it has a very soft kind of fleece lining on the inside and it's kind of warm and cozy but not so warm that you can't wear it during the spring and summer, especially after you jump out of the shower or even one that you might want to toss on in the mornings while you're getting ready. So switching gears just a little bit and talking about some favorites in terms of hair care would be these products here by R&Co. I have coarse, somewhat frizzy hair from time to time and I like to change up my hair care routine. For me, it just kind of livens things up and it really just kind of helps with my hair texture. R&Co products are ones that I have been using for the last several months and have just fallen in love with them. Along with the shampoo and conditioner by r Co, I would also highly recommend their Mood Swing. I again have slightly coarse, frizzy hair, and so I need some type of product in there before I blow dry or straighten my hair that kind of helps tame that frizziness down and smooth things out. This product is absolutely amazing. It smells incredible, but all I do is kind of do a few sprays throughout my hair and then blow it dry and it turns out so nicely. Great for anyone who's looking to just add a little bit of product to help smooth and straighten things out. Another favorite on my list for the month of May would be some new aviators that I picked up uh, by Tom Ford. I really love these aviators because they have a dark lens and they have an additional detail gold bar at the top. I'm gonna look and see if I can find these exact ones. I know they have been selling out really quickly. If I can't, I am gonna link some other aviators that I would recommend that are very similar in style to these. And next on my list would be Lululemon leggings. I am such a fan of these leggings and I have been for so many years. I honestly have leggings in my closet that have probably been there for over five years. These particular ones here I love because of the material. They feel so soft and they feel really nice on my skin, but they're great for walking, they're great for lying around the house, running errands, and they're also great for working out. I've worn them for cycling and like I said, walking, just all around a really great legging that I would highly recommend. Another favorite of mine would be APL sneakers. This is actually the third pair that I have in my closet and uh, that should hopefully help to share with you guys how much I truly love them. They truly feel like I am walking on clouds. They're very lightweight, but they give enough support that if you wanna go walking for a day or you want to wear them to work or maybe even to the gym, nice long walk, or you're maybe on vacation and you need something comfortable to wear, especially this time of year, these would certainly fit the bill. Um, I love them so much that I actually bought my husband a pair for Christmas and he has now become as obsessed as I have. 
Nail polish is something that's a favorite of mine year round and I have quite a collection. And honestly, given the state of what's kind of happened the last couple of months, I've gotten back to really doing my own nails and I honestly really enjoy it. So I wanted to share with you guys a favorite that is definitely a favorite of the month of May, but like I said, all year round, and that's Polish by OPI. I'm gonna share all of my neutral favorites down below, including the one that I'm wearing and that you see here in this video today. And last but not least would be this toiletry 26. My husband and I just celebrated our 20th anniversary back in May. Unfortunately, we were not able to celebrate as we would have liked. However, we had a fun celebration at home and this is a little surprise that he gave to me. I'm really excited to add this to my collection. I currently have the 15 and the 19. And I want to know from you guys if you would like to see a video specifically dedicated to the toiletry collection and kind of my thoughts on the 15, 19, and 26, if it's something that I recommend in terms of the whole collection, or if you really don't need all of three, or maybe you just want a comparison of what really fits inside each uh, of the 15, 19, and 26. So if that's something that you would like to see, please let me know in the comments down below for a future video. Well, I hope you guys really enjoyed my favorites for the month of May. This is something that I want to bring to you all on a continual basis. And so please let me know down in the comments below, again, if this is something that you enjoyed seeing today. Let me know if it's something that uh, you would like to continue seeing. Also, let me know if there are particular products that you would like to see in future videos. Thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you next time.